All right, guys, check it out. Felicity has a new battery box. Some of you guys may be familiar with their first edition. This is definitely a nice battery box and it was very budget friendly. Uh, now they've got a battery box pro and it comes with a thousand watt inverter just like this one. It has the same 12 volt cigarette lighter output and it has USB power delivery, USB-C and quick charge 3.0 USB-A's which may be a little bit different from here. There's one of those on the original Licity box and then it has uh, two of the A styles. There's a larger shutoff switch here which could be welcome because this one's smaller one I did find it to be a little tough to turn at times uh, so this one feels a, a much easier on the hand. Uh, the other difference here is the original one has one AC output and the new one, the Pro, has two. This one came with rope handles, but this one actually has hand grips, so they're built in. And I kind of think that might feel better on your hand, but once we get a battery in here, we'll try it out. It has a wireless charging now on the top. Uh, as far as the Anderson outputs, it has one 175 amp Anderson, and then it has one 50 amp Anderson, while the original one has the same 175 amp, it, it has three 50 amps. And then we have our 10 amp solar MPPT controller input, and that is the same on the original box. All right, so let's go ahead and get a battery in this guy and start testing it out. I'm gonna use this Vatter 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. It's actually a smart battery, so we'll be able to use an app to see how it's doing. So let's just take the lid off this guy. And there's the back side. It's covered with this plastic sheet. There's our charge controller and our inverter. And it looks like we got an accessory box in here. Owner's manual. We have our solar cable. Uh, we have our battery clamp style cables. Our case screws. And there's something in here. Oh. Oh, this is a remote. So it has a remote display feature. I think I did notice that on the front. Let's see. Yeah, on the front it has a port to plug that in. Oh, that's pretty neat. So we're going to test that out for sure. All right, let's get this battery in. I just remembered it has these little boots. So let's go ahead and put those on. All right, so it's ready to go. Let's turn her on and let's turn the inverter on. Bam, we have a display. All right, so here we go. We got 13.3 volts from the battery. We're showing 124 volts AC. We've got a temperature of 27 Celsius, zero watts. Uh, so the screen looks great and while we're at it let's plug in the remote display and see how that looks <laughs> there it is 
So it's the exact same display. So I think for the on off to work on the remote, we have to turn it off on the unit. All right, so both are off. There we go. And it's on now. Very nice. All right, so let's try to run some AC loads. And let's start off with this heater. Okay. And right here it shows we are pulling 743 watts. I think it's showing the fan is on on the Licity box. And indeed it is. I hear it right here. Let's see if we can turn the heater up a little bit. Yep, so we've got, we're pulling 820 watts. Wonder what happens, can we do the heater on full blast? Now we're pulling 1222 watts. <laughs> the voltage did sag a little bit here. We're down to, oh, ah, and then we overloaded it and it shut off. <laughs> I think we actually may have tripped the battery. Oh wait, now this is coming back on. So we might have pushed too much through the battery Oh, let's turn this on low before we do it again. There we go. Okay, so here's the app for the battery. And uh, we're pulling 67 amps. So we may have gone over 100 amps on the battery. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, we're doing 122 amps from the battery right now. So I bet the battery is going to shut off. Yeah, the, the battery actually shut off. So let's give it a chance to come back on. Okay, the battery has come back on, so we should be able to turn this back on. First, let's turn the heater back on low. There we go. Yeah, basically just don't uh, load it down past a thousand watts. <laughs> Obviously, it's only a 1000 watt inverter. So this screen says we're pulling 743 watts from the AC. And then the battery actually says we are pulling 876 watts. Uh, yeah, so there's some losses from between the battery and the energy conversion in the inverter, whatnot. That's to be expected. Yeah, I just unplugged the heater. I'm not showing any idle current. I wonder if this BMS on the battery is just not detecting it. So let's open it back up and see if we can measure the idle current. All right, let's see if we can get this clamp on there. Okay, so it's showing we're idling at looks like point well it's kind of fluctuating. Looks like we're showing point three. Yeah. About point three amps. Wow. It's showing 3.96 watts that's a very low idle consumption let's reset everything here and try that once more so we're seeing point three I saw point two point four it's kind of just cycling around. Yeah, we're showing as, as low as 0.2, but at times 0.5 briefly. But it seems like it's hitting 0 0.3, 0 0.4 most frequently. All right, let's just recalculate it on 0.4. So we're at 13.2 times 
5.4 amps. So that's putting us around 5.28 watts idle consumption. Uh, still really good. All right, so let's get back to running some AC loads. Uh, I've got the induction cooktop on and we are pulling 859 watts and we're pulling 78 amps from the battery. Let's see if we can go to level four, see what that gets us. Okay, well, that put us slightly over the 1,000 watt limit. Yeah, we're at 1,057 watts. Let's, uh, let's go back down to three. I think I've got an idea of what we can use to get it closer to the 1,000 watts. Uh, we'll plug in this fan which is nice that we have an extra AC power outlet. So the fan is starting up and we're at 932 watts. Let's put it on high. All right, so 948 will uh just let that sucker run. All right, so we've got a kind of a little simmer going on in there. And we have been running for 26 minutes, according to the cooktop here. Uh, we're pulling 964 watts. We have drained the battery down to 55%. We're pulling 91.7 amps. So, yeah, it's doing it. Let's go ahead and unplug the fan and see if we can go up to level four. Here we go. Now we're pulling 1,037 watts. Uh, we're showing 100 amps on the battery. Uh, so the battery might actually cut out on us. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. You know, pushing real close to a thousand watts for over 20 minutes. Everything seemed perfectly fine. Yeah, so next we need to try to do some solar charging. Alright, so we got some solar hooked up to the Battery Box Pro. And right now I'm only getting 5.8 amps. 76 watts and that is because we have clouds this is like a really bad solar day <laughs> we've had a lot of storms here in texas and it's just a bunch of lingering clouds now every once in a while i do see the sun peek out just briefly and i'm hoping that's gonna happen here. And we're gonna max this controller out and see what it gets. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch for a bit to see if any sun pops out here. Oh, we've gotten up to 98. And, oh, we just saw seven amps. So maybe we are, oh look, there's 103 watts. Okay, so maybe we're gonna see something here. Come on, sun. Okay, there we go. 120 watts. Oh, 9 amps. Okay, so we're... Oh, come on. Looks like we're going to hit that 10 amps. There it goes. 9.6 amps. 9, 8. 9, 9.9. 10. There it is, guys. We just saw 10. Oh, look. We got 10.1. 136 watts, 138 watts. All right, so there you go. We're actually doing over 10 amps. And that's really because the real dark cloud kind of moved out of the way. I mean, it's still cloudy, but there was a really thick dark one there. And uh, we're, we're getting a little bit more sun to come through. All right, I'm just gonna let that charge at 10 amps for a little while. 
and I'll be back. All right, so I just got back from taking the dog for a walk, and we're still pushing that 10 amps, 134 watts. All right, so now let's check the sine wave. I got the oscilloscope hooked up to the AC output. Let's turn it on. There we go. And there's the sine wave showing up. And it is indeed a pure sine wave. Now I mentioned these handles are different from the previous model. The original model has the rope handles. And, but these feel perfectly fine. I think I might actually prefer these. They feel pretty good in the hand. I don't have any issues with them. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the video. Uh, let me know what you think about this new Battery Box Pro from Licity. I'll leave uh, links in the description, and I'll catch you on the next one.